hello from Beechworth, or actually right now at the top of Mount Pilot, which is a little bit outside of Beechworth. It's about 12 k's outside of Beechworth. But the views here are spectacular, mm -hmm. so we couldn't resist taking a chance to drop in on the way there. A couple of episodes ago, we were in Rutherglen and Albury, which is actually not too far away from here. It's probably mm. about a half an hour north of here. So even though we went home and then went to Sydney in between, you could totally continue on from our last series through Wagga down to Albury and come here after that. On the way down here, we actually drove through the small historic town of Chilton, which is an 1850s gold mining town. And you can actually see in the main street there, a lot of the original buildings have been mm. preserved and it looks really cool yeah. and old school as you drive through. It's very pretty. All one sort of colour scape. <laughs> kind of a rusty red. Yeah, maybe, rusty maybe, red and yellow. It may be real authentic rust, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. And then we, on the way from Chilton to Beechworth, along that road, is an indigenous site called Yedinbar. And we did go there. We drove up the little, the, the skinny dirt road to it, but um, it appears it was closed. Yes, they've got some structural issues going on at the moment. Yeah. So we thought it best to not climb up on that walkway. Mm. But anyway, now we might head on to the actual town of Beechworth. <laughs> So we've just been for a little bit of a walk through the beautiful old town of Beechworth and I finally laid my eyes on the Beechworth Bakery where I'm hoping they might have a gluten-free option or two that I can eat. What you're after? Uh, they had a couple of gluten-free options, not the most extensive range. They had um, some banana bread, an orange and almond cake, and a brownie. So I went with the banana bread. It's uh, got a kind of fruitiness to it, which is interesting, but yes, very nice. And Jesse had a pie, but he demolished it before I even got out of the shop. I was waiting for them to heat this up. Yeah, I forgot I was a vlogger for a second there. This isn't actually our first time to Beechworth and every time we've come here we've noticed the ardent alpaca here which is kind of funny because uh, I grew up on an alpaca farm and <laughs> I just think it's a funny name but uh, I think my alpaca needs are all sorted by my family and it's closed anyway so we'll keep walking. Just driven along the gorge road and we've come to the end of it and there is Newtown Bridge which was built in 1875 or opened in 1875 started building in 1874 it's a nice old bridge but under it flows this amazing waterfall through the through the gorge this is incredible look at the color of the rock oh so nice look at the contrast the reds and the greens a bit of yellow what's the color of stone gray <laughs> and this was the site of an old mill that was here many years ago, but it shut down in the 1880s. A timber mill. And just a little bit outside the city, basically in the middle of town still, is Lake Sample Recreation Reserve, which is where we are now. And you can actually hang out here and be beside the water, you can go canoeing. There are little walking tracks all around the side of the water. There's a caravan park here, which we could stay in tonight. We'll see what happens, but we probably won't. Uh, there's a nice garden over to the side of it as well that you can have a stroll through. So it's kind of a nice place to just come and hang with your friends and family. Uh, you could even grab a picnic lunch and come out here. It's just a cool, chill spot to relax. it's time to pop into Bridge Road Brewery.
Can I have a sip, please? So I have got myself an Alpine Cider, the Pink Lady Sweet, to have with my dinner. We've ordered some pizza, gluten-free pizza coming, and it's a very interesting flavor, but we'll come back to that in a bit. And Jessie has a little bit of a tasting paddle here. Hmm, hmm, what have we here? I've got a few holes, I should have picked the one with 10. I only picked six, I went light. So I think I got a vanilla beer, looks like a vanilla lager, an XPA, a pale ale, an IPA, I think, a red ale, and a, what was this one? Some sort of chocolatey, chocolate Easter egg thing. Yeah, that one's really delish. So, uh, yeah, vanilla, what was this one meant to be? Vanilla ice cream and a beer. I can see that. It's kind of like flat fizzy drink in a way. I can handle that. What else have I got? XPA, starting to get a little bit of hops there. Pale ale, a bit more hops. Let's get a bit, bit more, more hops. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm into the bling, if that's what the uh, uh, IPA is called. The red ale is totally different. Kind of has that sweetness from a German German beer. It's meant to be, a, yeah, a red ale. Tastes like a German beer with a hint of sourness. Love German beers. And yeah, that chocolate one. That's for the end. I can see why. There is ice cream in a freezer just in there, which Dana might have. I might help her. But my dessert can be this one. So Yak and Danda just got added to our map. Maybe not for this holiday, but uh, in Bridge Road Brewers here, they have two bottles of Backwoods whiskey. The guy behind the bar said that Backwoods is from Yak and Danda. And we tried it and it was very delicious. So we're gonna have to go there at some point. If you head north from Beechworth, you're heading in kind of Albury direction, but Yak is a bit northeast, I believe. <laughs> So this is the pizza that we ordered, with a gluten-free base, of course. And the flavour is apple and blue cheese, which is a very interesting flavour combination, and we couldn't resist trying it. So the apple adds a little bit of a mild sweetness in there. The nuts give it a really nice crunch. The blue cheese is very soft. If you don't like blue cheese, you're not going to be offended by this pizza. I think it somehow works. I wasn't sure if I was going to like it, but it's good. Do you want to try some? So apple and blue cheese and what's the nut? Hazelnut. They're three of my favourite things. Mmm. Only getting a hint of the blue cheese at the moment, but it's there. The nuts are amazing because the, the apples are slivered so thin. If, if, if you were doing it blindfolded, you wouldn't know it's an apple. You would just know there's something adding nice sweetness. Ah. Yeah, there's the blue. I love blue cheese. Yeah, that's great. Hey guys, how are we? Oh. Welcome up some dinner, mate. That's a door. And that's a handle. What have we got? We have bought our ice cream for dessert, but the guy behind the bar, we were having a chat about their beers, and it turns out that um, they now do it an alcohol-free one. Alcohol-free beer. I've never had an alcohol-free beer, because I imagine they're pretty close to water. So I'll have that um, after we find a way to cool it. Maybe we need to buy a fridge that lives in the van. Likarish. The barman will tell me that it is the pick. It is the pick of them. There it is. There's the thing that was flopping around in there, Dana. Crack this open. Oh, wow. Oh, this is gonna be real good. Oh. Oh, it's better than I thought it would be. Like, and I thought it would be good, really good, but it's actually amazing. Oh my God. There's actual chunks of licorice in there, but they're like, it's not like you come across a hard piece of licorice in, in soft ice cream. It's soft, very soft licorice in very soft ice cream. So it blends together really well. Look at that greenish, greenish tar color. Quality licorice. 
quality. <laughs> They're not wrong. I haven't tried any of the other flavors, but this is fantastic. Oh man, it's, it's non-stop licorice pieces. But it's the only non-gluten-free one there, so Dana couldn't have the licorice one. Cheese stick stuck with chocolate. <laughs> tap, tap, tap. Does this thing work? <laughs> Definitely. That's phrasing for a folk tone. It's like Sam Bell. A little more than that. Oh. <laughs> to water, mate. <laughs> I imagine they're pretty close to water. <laughs>